Hey this is Brian Black and here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pum 1. Fire right in this episode, we're going to go to continue go going through the, the walk and hideout. Shit. Sorry about that, guys. And they are not bothered about doing it in front of the customers. Be quiet! The customers are listening to you guys! Stop screaming! At the helm of the madness is a father who forces his children to work at the restaurant against their will. What's your problem? Stupid. And while all this family fighting is going on, some son you are wanting to help. There is a restaurant that is falling apart at the seams. Damn, that's horrible. There seems to be no uh. standards at all. What's he trying to do, kill me? Chef Ramsay faces a true nightmare with a family so volatile, groomed in your head, and so out of control. You're warning me! Get out of the face! Like trash! He may be unable to save this family from themselves. We kill each other here. What is that? He's got me lots of food. You're not to kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! Monrovia, California is located 30 minutes northeast of downtown Los Angeles. And right in the heart of Old Town is the local eatery, Sam's Mediterranean Kebab Room, owned and operated by Sam Najjar and his family. 1982, I started working as a best boy and dishwasher, and my dream was just to open a family restaurant with my wife and my kids. And then my dream became true. I buy the restaurant in 1997. Business was good when he first opened, but after a major slowdown in the last couple of years, the only employees that remain are Sam's wife and children. That's going, Matt. That's going, Matt. Me and my siblings can't really kind of put our adult lives on hold just to see my dad's dreams come true. But, you know, I kind of want to start my life, but I'm not able to because, you know, I have to stick here with my dad. Nobody cares about business. Nobody cares. I feel like no one really wants to be here. The place looks a little depressing. The decor, it's a little old. Sitting down, baby. We don't really give much effort anymore. My brother is slack on a lot of things. And just, here, 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 here. Bad, like, how bad? Like, bad, like, I spit it out, I can't eat it. Half a minute, you said me as well. The people go, go the outside, go outside, go outside, go outside. Most of the time, the restaurant is empty, and we tend to have nothing to do, so we start arguing with each other. I put all the numbers on my checks, and that's how you know, we call it. You know how many times you guys are taking the food out of the salad? I was just taking cold if we take it right off the grill. It wasn't cold. She came and told me the chicken was cold. I didn't say the chicken was cold. And we do argue in front of the customers sometimes. Oh, yeah. There's only this limited space. Oh, they come up. I didn't know they were doing it. I didn't know they were doing it. I didn't know Every day my kids, they're fighting all the time together. I don't understand why. Dude, Jamal, go outside. This is not what you want. Get out. Why do you always kick us out? Everybody said they don't want to do anything. The stress this restaurant puts on us, you know, it's really kind of tearing down our family. <sighs> Business is very bad. We don't make money here. What the heck is that? $400? This was the only income. My family depend on it. If the restaurant closed, we got to be on the street. Before Chef Ramsay can make the short drive to the restaurant from his hotel, he is besieged by Sam's children. So you Sam's kids? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Yes. And Rhonda? Yeah. Lena? We Sam. We Sam. Yes, sir. And Jamal. Jamal. Yes. Let's catch up inside. I just want to wait to see this. Okay, no problem. When we tell Chef Ramsay what's wrong with the restaurant, he's going to be like, wow. So, in a nutshell, what is wrong with the restaurants? Um, yeah, honestly, I really don't want to go down to my He's just scared to let you, yeah. like, really, like, so cool. He's so stubborn. We all have to go to the restaurant. He's like, almost every time. Please, one at a time, please. So I can hear you all clearly. What's wrong with the restaurant? My dad. Your dad. Basically, a lot of arguing. You don't do this for the restaurant. You don't do that. Or 
the restaurant is their fault, the restaurant is our fault. And but, and but, and but, like, but everything, hold on a minute, how many hours a week do you work? I'm working every day from 10 to 10. So you're full time? Yes, 10 days a week. Seven days a week. We're all like that, we're all there inside and out, seven days a week. Why would you all need to be there seven days a week? Because we're the only staff. Is this true? Yes, it is. My dad, he doesn't want to put anyone else in the restaurant, like um, like a staff wise. He it's, says it's a family business, we all have to put in work. He always tells us that he did not have seven kids for us to go and do what we want. He always wanted us to like stay together in the restaurant. <laughs> But we all have dreams like and goals besides the restaurant. Right. We all have stuff to do, and we when we want to do it, it's like we can't because we're at the restaurant. And now, as we get older, we're forced to be there because there's no other employees. Right now, who really wants to be there? At this point, no one. Wow. We need help. We need someone to just right. to, to show yeah. my dad like um, he needs to change. He's just, just scared to let go. I appreciate all the information. I respect your honesty, and I'm going to go into Sam's now. I'm going to see him. Um, he doesn't know about this, right? Do you tell him? No. Let's keep it between us, okay? Is there anything else I need to know before I get in there? Um, just be prepared. The restaurant does need a lot of work. I'm done to get in there now. Yeah, see you back in the restaurant. Okay. Okay. At the Pokemon Tower. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Before I end the episode, we're going to fight my rival. Everybody's going to cook food back here. Get out. Nobody's yeah, talking about that. Get out. Well, I'm just telling you guys. You know, you're thinking about putting the word back in. Get out. Well, 
Alright guys, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Pumon. Far right in the next episode, we're going to go through the Pumon Tower. This is Brian Blackner. I'm judging. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.